welcome to today's session so we continue looking at the 2021 grade 12 gce mathematics paper one so what is essential is remember the instruction is omission of essential workings will result in a loss of marks so make sure that you follow me on how to clearly answer and optimize to get the optimal results from paper one okay so let us continue and look at question number seven so we've done question one up to six in the first two parts so question seven leads given that 9 15 21 27 is an arithmetical progression find the 12th term F formula for the nth term so what we know is an arithmetic progression is given by the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference so to find the common difference which is d is given by basically the second term minus the first term okay in this case it will be basically uh, 15 minus 9 we give we get a 6 then to confirm it will be the third term minus the second term in this case it will be basically 21 minus 15 which is equal to 6 so in its ends it is 6 so even 27 minus 21 is 6 so we have that common difference which is d then we know what the first term is the first term is basically 9 okay so having found that we can easily now deal with this question so we have 9 plus the 12th term which is n in this case n is 12 so 12 minus 1 then times 6 so we end up with 9 uh, plus 12 minus 1 is 11 times 6 so we end up with 9 plus 66 which is basically uh, 75 so the 12th term is 75 then b the formula for the nth term so the formula for the nth term is even now much more uh, quicker and straight so the nth term is now we know we know what a is so let me just use this space so t this one is equal to 9 plus basically a n minus 1 multiplied by 6 so you get basically 9 plus 6 times n is 6n then minus 6 times 1 is 6 so 9 minus 6 we have a 3 so 3 plus 6 multiplied by n is our anything term. so basically that's what you do for b to get the maximum possible results all right so basically that's how we deal with the first part with question 7 let us move to question 8 so let us move to question 8 so let me just move to the next page so we have question 8 given that a is a matrix which is a 2 by 3 matrix find the transpose of a find the transpose of a so we are given a matrix in this case is a 3 by a 2 by 3 matrix so have a b c d or a b c d like this the transpose of a transpose this is the principle to use is basically you swap so a remains where it is where there was c here we put a b so these interchange then we have uh, c go up then d so this is the transpose so basically you swap the column and the rows so in this case similarly if a is equal to that so a transpose basically what happens is these rows becomes column and these becomes so basically you get basically a one then a three then a five okay then you have a two then you have a one then a zero so like that so basically the rows becomes columns and columns becomes rows so basically this is how you find the transpose okay so let us move to question b so question b leads given that p is equal to a uh, 2 by 2 matrix which is 2 negative 1 3 4 
and q is a column vector find pq so pq is basically we are multiplying these two vectors so you remember you start with it 2 uh, 3 negative 1 then 4 then you have uh, negative 2 then you have uh, 3 here not 4 3 so it's in this case we are multiplying a 2 by 2 matrix with a 2 by 1 matrix so these two are out so you end up with it. the result will be 2 by 1 matrix so it will be this one multiplied by that so what you get is basically 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 okay plus negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 then you come to the the second one this one multiplied by this one so it will be basically 3 times negative 2 which is negative 6 then 3 times 3 is positive 9 so when you simplify this one you end up with basically uh, you end up with a negative 7 negative 7 then a 3 as our uh, answer so this answer is what you put at this one so basically this is how you answer question uh, 7 and 8